from the outset the university was looking to create and enhance the experience of students and uh, actually their staff alike. We've been going on a digitisation project for the last probably five or six years. So within that we've included wayfinding, digital signage, high flex teaching rooms and now we're looking at immersive learning. Our conversations with the university and IDNS as the system integration partner really centred around sort of two core pillars. There was a technical conversation to be had, alongside that there's a conversation that we, we wanted to have beyond technology. So the immersive space in, in many ways has become the showpiece of this current range of works that's been carried out within the university. In the immersive space we've delivered you know, something that I'm really proud of, 18 metre by 3 metre LED immersive space. It's a 12K image, it looks phenomenal. The Samsung quality of panels is second to none in there. And I think none of that would have been cheaper without that consultative process throughout. We encourage all students to come in to use the immersive space to take their uh, work and display it on a, a unique system. We've got game design students coming in to look at how they can produce their work on that type of screen, which has been a really big help because it gets more people immersed within that class. But now coming in as an employee, the technology is there to push what VR can do, to push what the immersive room can do. And having all this technology now, we can actually really push on how education can be boosted. Digital signage, first of all, is important for safety, so we can share important information with our students, but also we use it as one of our main communication tools with our students and staff. So we have special events, or even as simple as if they're moving rooms for their lectures, the installation process uh, for certain aspects of the job, such as the wayfinding, weren't actually particularly complicated. Uh, Samsung ecosystem, so the software, the hardware, is all fairly straightforward to install and is built around that, that process. So the project started off with high flex rooms, making sure our students' experience were better when we were delivering lectures. We have in the high flex spaces, we have our Flip 85 inch, which is also supported by one of our QM75s as a, almost like a repeater screen within the room. It was about creating the destination, not just for students to come in and be inspired to learn, but also for the staff and the academics and the lecturers to be able to deliver the most inspiring and thought provoking of, uh, of content. We've seen a change in staff behaviour as well, a willingness to think differently about how we teach and how we engage but also how we make good use of data to inform our decisions. There are lots of benefits of using Samsung as a single source supplier. It's the openness that we can have uh, around products, around the roadmap. We know when there's developments coming with the products and, and the process. And it allows the university and ourselves to map out really clearly our future plans of, of implementation. We want to be ahead of the game and a partnership with colleagues such as Samsung will allow us to do that. So we're able to be more creative, more effective and respond to increased student needs.